So I'm going to be working on the worktop opposite the one we've already done. We sanded it down and uh, gave about four coats of Danish oil, four or five coats of Danish oil. Um, and this one is what was in when we moved in and obviously there's black rings and what have you, age spots and cup rings and all that. So what I've been doing is scraping it with this. It's not exactly what they'd use, but it's like a, it's almost the same as like a card scraper that they'd use to fit worktops or to restore them. And um, I've just been going down, down the grain, like so. Taking off all the top coat of Danish oil. And I'm going to an 80 grit sandpaper. And then I think that's a 120 or a 140. Um, so yeah, see how it goes. <laughs> I've scraped it all back. I've used an 80 grit and a 120 or 140, can't remember now. Um, and it's so smooth. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep going a little bit because I can still see a bit of that ring where that pan's been. Um, and then I'll clean it all down and I will coat it in about four or five coats of Danish oil getting all the edges as well and it should look the same as that I'm hoping anyway there's my uh, Dunn Blades Works knife Dunn Blade Works rather not Dunn Blades Works with a little narrowboat on it 100 year old Mikata with carbon pins lovely so yeah, bit of a mess. Sorry, Holly. So that's after the first coat of Danish oil. You meant to give it quite a bit on the first one to let it soak in to the wood. As you can see, it looks a lot better than it did. And it's getting close to that now. It's a bit different under different lights, but Brought out that green nicely though. Just gotta do these back cupboard. Well, don't know if you really call these storage cupboards. I need the handle putting back on. They run all the way down the back. And I managed to get every single one of the ring marks out. something in that they're going to get taken out and do separately because they can go outside all the ring marks have come <laughs> 